it's another day and of course it's sure a time to bring you the latest in your world of entertainment and we have just two days to the annual Adun Praise yes 2018 edition is happening this Friday August 31st at Perez Dome inside Jolly Junction I'll bring you details on that as we get ready to receive more of the artists into the country for the main event also when was the last time you heard from actress Michelle Atto do you remember that late, I mean, 90s series, Ultimate Paradise? Yes, Akofe Gianni and the likes. Yes, she was also part of it, and uh, she's been talking movies with us. And of course, this and many more trending entertainment stories. Be my guest today on the show. I'm Doreen Avio. Let's talk showbiz. Now, if you just join me, this is Let's Talk Showbiz here on Joy News on Multi TV, and we're starting with Ghanaian actress Michelle Atto. Yes, she's known for starring in the movie or the series that's Ultimate Paradise back in the late 90s. And yes, she was in the series with the likes of Akofe Gianni and others. And uh, well, she has been away from the movie scenes for a very long time. And though she plans on returning back to the industry, she has actually revealed that bad or negative storylines made her lose interest in Ghanaian productions. And she has been speaking more about the movie industry with my colleague Maxwell Amofia. Okay, so my involvement with Bad Luck Joe was essentially um, playing the character of one of the warring wives. As you can tell in the synopsis, it's about two warring wives, uh, one man fighting for his love, and all because of Patapa. Um, my role essentially is the younger, sassier. <laughs> Obviously. <laughs> yeah, wife. <laughs> so um, my role essentially was to create some kind of humor, um, a balance between the sadness or the melancholy and, you know, the humorous side to the fight. Um, it, get, it got me to play a, a role that I've never played before and a side of me that none of you would ever think I could play because it was liberating with Ramesh. Ramesh allow me to say, okay, I feel this character is more uh, local. I feel she's more reserved. So he enabled me to express her character um, traits in my own way. So that's the involvement that I had. So I am Mrs. Patapa, the best version of. <laughs> the female version of Patapa. Well, away from that, I'm sure a number of people watching you now will be like, where have you been? Yeah. So I chose to take a sabbatical because of Obviously, I was focusing on my advertising company, Emerge, um, and developing that a bit more. Now, I would also say that I was very selective as to what it is that I didn't want to be associated with. Unfortunately, the industry is such that, you know, we've lost the art of telling the right narrative. Africa, Ghana, Africa is not a, a, um, a grin, you know, sad, uh, destitute continent or country. And so we tend to tell those stories. I want something that would be uplifting, that would be uh, engaging and entertaining. So for those stories drove you away in a way? To some extent, because we're tired of seeing the, you know, the negative side of who, who we are, what we represent, the beauty of our culture, the beauty of our country, our landmarks, our heritage. I wanted something that could kickstart better things or better stories that other storytellers would be able to tell through me. Is it that producers enjoy producing? in those kind of movies or what's the problem I think that it's a lack it's um sorry to say but I think it's a very limited mindset um, they, it's what they're used to so I think that this movie will break the ground to newcomers in exploring the avenue of doing something outside of what they've been used to you'd be surprised people want to watch something that's entertaining and uplifting and something that will leave them feeling good about themselves who wants to leave a movie theater feeling sad <laughs> So following, following what's been happening with our movie, I'm sure you've heard stories of the industry is dying and all of that. Recently, there's a move to clamp down on uh, unauthorized foreign content on our channels. Others feel that even when we do that and the quality of our movies is not the best, we're still not going to you know, get to the peak that we want to get to. Others also feel that it's a good move because now the local content will be in high demand. What do you make of that? I think there's hope. You know, trends can take a turn where they can take over.
over. But there has to be a point where somebody will shift that trend or shift that change and make a difference. And the time is now than, than ever. Because there's an influx of so many foreign movies that, you know, would now encourage our producers and directors to step up their game. You know, break away from the mold, break away from the stereotype. And so create your own niche, become your own pacemaker. Let's talk showbiz. Right, so that was uh, actress Michelle Atto. But of course, get ready for an exciting movie on October 5th. So the movie is titled Bad Luck Joe, and it features actors um, Chris Atto, uh, Michelle Atto, Aduma, and Sika Ose, and others. And of course, there was a press story, and my colleague Max Olamofia was there, and he has put together this report. Two warring wives, a missing buddy, and a man fighting for his love. This is a story of Bad Luck Joe. Ahead of the premiere of the movie starring Chris Atto, Sika Osei, Michelle Atto, Aduma, producers organized a press soiree to announce the release of the latest thrilling movie. Scriptwriter and executive producer Ramesh talks about the plot of the movie. If the movie is very serious, it's like serious throughout. And it kind of makes me want more. You know, so I, I like comedy movies. So I decided, you know what, Let's, let me make a, dra a movie which is funny, but it's also got drama in it. Michelle Lato, who makes an appearance after years of absence and debutant songstress at Doma, detailed their roles. Two war wives, uh, one man fighting for his love, and all because of Matapa. Um, my role essentially is the younger, sassier, Obviously. <laughs> yeah. Why? Very stressful. I didn't think it was going to be that intense, especially my character. I think it's because of the character, because my character was supposed to be very deep and pensive and intense. Bad Luck Joe premieres at the Silver Bed Cinemas on the 5th of October. Let's talk showbiz. And of course, we all can't wait to see this movie. I love, I love the title, though. It's quite um, different from the usual, you know. Hmm. You are in love. I'm in love with this person. <laughs> Pardon me, but um, yeah, we have movie titles like that. Now, away from that, we are all set with just two days for Adun Press 2018. Yesterday, we brought you news from Kweku Jesse as he said he was all fired up for the event this coming Friday. So now it's time for us to talk more about some of these artists, their songs, and what to expect. Diana Hamilton is also part of the artists to perform on the night. We have Elder. Reku, we have um, um, William and Mike, we have uh, the list is endless. We also have Aben all the way from Nigeria. So, I don't praise, of course, the Ababe him, and we have so much in stock for you. Don't forget about the multimedia choir. <laughs> Dinah and G. Hamilton, the Ghanaian gospel sensation with a powerful voice and great songwriting ability, has become one of Africa's most talked about talents across the world. Credited with four popular albums, her songs continue to receive massive airplay across the globe. Her latest single, Monio, as well as Yo Abeshe, Fresh Oil, and Work in Progress, are some notable tunes from the musician. And Hamilton's ministry has taken her to various countries across the world, including the USA, Italy, Belgium, Canada, Holland, and Germany. She received Best Female Artist Award at the 2014 Africa Gospel Awards, Best Artist Europe at the 2011 edition of the Africa Gospel Awards, Best Female Acts and Best Gospel Acts at the Ghana Music Awards Europe in 2012, as well as the Best Female Vocal Performance at the Ghana Gospel Industry Awards also in 2012. With a spirit filled performance, Dinah Hamilton is expected to draw patrons closer to God with fresh oil at the forthcoming at Doom Praise. Yes! At Doom Praise 2018! Hello Ghana, my name is Diana Hamilton. And I'm, Yehovah, I'm, God, I'm so excited to be joining you to worship Jehovah God, our maker, on the 31st of August 2018 at Doom Praise. I am 
that's so exciting and I'm believing God for a mighty move. And so join me at the Paris Dome and let's bless the name of the Lord. Showbiz. Right, so if you haven't gotten your tickets yet, do well to get them. You can come to the front desk of Multimedia or Joy FM. For 60 Ghana cities, you can get a ticket for yourself and you can actually buy more for your family members because 2018 edition is going to be bigger and exciting. Yes, artists like Dinah Hamilton, Eldon Reku, Eben all the way from Nigeria, Willie and Mike, Kweku JC and others will throw you to a night of good music let's worship God let's thank God for a great year and yeah it's gonna be exciting so don't forget to get your tickets for Adun Praise 2018 and I will move straight to Chalawate Festival um, it happened last week all through from Monday to Sunday it was exciting it's actually a street arts festival our cameras were there and you should see how people were just you know doing their art painting all over the place it's quite beautiful and um, if you were not there, here's what happened on the weekend. My girl, I know fit to yeah. You bust my brain, you know the way I see Day by day, I want to see you grow To see you grow yeah. Bring that in my baby, make me sing You know they see how the food you die, baby Come on, me no cause sweetie, don't be shy Don't be shy Follow me, follow me I said on the Chalawate Arts or Street Arts Festival. So if you were not there this year, you would have to wait all the way next year to be part of it. And it's, it applies to Adun Praise. So if you are not able to make it for this year's Adun Praise, then you would have to wait all the way next year to be a part of it. That's why I'm reminding you that you should go out there, grab your tickets for just 60 Ghana cities. Let's go out there. Thank God, appreciate God, and worship Him for all the good things He has done for us. And well, I'll draw down the curtains on today's edition of Let's Talk Showbiz here on 
Joy News on Multi TV. Remember to log on to myjoyonline.com for more of our stories. I'm Doreen Avio, and I have been doing this right here at Wak One Corner inside Kokomlele. Do enjoy your evening. Thank you.